Welcome back, folks, to Cooking with AI. And today we're diving into the secret world of crispy, finger-licking, good fried chicken. That's right. We're making our very own KFC copycat chicken right in the comfort of your kitchen. So grab your aprons and let's get cooking. Let's start with the star of the show, the chicken. You'll need eight pieces of chicken. Choose a mix of drumsticks and thighs for that authentic KFC taste. For the magic seasoning, you'll need two cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of dried rosemary, one tablespoon of dried thyme, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of black pepper. This blend is what gives KFC its unique and irresistible flavor. Now, on to our wet ingredients. In this bowl, we're whisking up one cup of tangy buttermilk and one large egg. Dip your chicken into the buttermilk and egg mixture, then generously coat it with our secret blend of seasonings. Make sure it's nicely covered. We want that KFC crunch in every bite. Ideally, you should marinate the chicken in buttermilk for at least 30 minutes to 24 hours. Marinating chicken in buttermilk is a great way to enhance its tenderness and flavor. Next, heat up your oil. We're using vegetable oil here, and you'll need enough to submerge your chicken pieces. Heat it to a sizzling 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now while the oil is heating up, let's get our chicken ready. Now carefully place your chicken pieces into the hot oil. Be gentle, we don't want any hot oil splatters. Let them fry for about 12, 15 minutes. Look at this folks, crispy gold perfection. This is the KFC copycat chicken you've been dreaming of. Let it rest on a paper towel to absorb any excess oil. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, your very own KFC copycat chicken made with love and a touch of the Colonel's magic. Serve it up with your favorite sides and enjoy a meal that'll make you feel like you're right at home in Kentucky. Thanks for joining me today on Cooking with AI. Until next time, remember, the secret ingredient is always a sprinkle of joy and a whole lot of flavor. Stay crispy, my friends.